When you first launch iWatcher, you'll be brought to what's known as the History section. This is where all your past individual daily logs will be stored. If you would like to access one of these individual daily logs, just select on it, and it will bring you to the details view for that log. Here in this view, you will see the different foods that you added for that day, along with its point total. If you would like to edit one of these or add more to a specific meal, just hit the edit button in the upper right hand corner. To add new foods, you just hit the add new line here and enter in the food you'd like to add. Then assign it a point value and hit the save button. And your new food will show up under its respective meal. The same goes for editing foods. To select the food you'd like to edit, make the changes you would like, and hit the save button and your changes will show up automatically. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let me put this back to how it was, so we can continue. Up here at the top, you have a few different point values. Um, this one here, the food points used, is just a total of all the different foods that you've eaten that day. Over here is a bonus points. These are bonus exercise points. Um, they could be added manually or through the calculator. To add them manually to this particular day, just hit the edit button. And over here in the upper left hand corner, there's an edit bonus. Select that button and you'll present it with an option to either delete bonus points or add bonus points. If you would like to add bonus points, just type in the amount of points that you would like to add and hit save. You see it subtracted 5 points from the total points that you had for that day to give you a grand total of 23. This can be displayed in either points used or points remaining. Right now we have it set to points used. Uh, in a few minutes I will go over how to change that to points remaining if that's what you would choose. As well as going over the extra feature. This button here is just an information button, a quick look at the different settings that you have for this log. Tap on that button and it lets you know how the extra score features turn off, what your daily uh, allowance is set to, and how it's being displayed. You can either hide this button or just hit OK. Hitting OK, the button will remain there. If you were to hit hide, it will hide the button, but the button is still active. If you were to just touch in this general area, the button will come back. Okay, let's exit out of edit mode. And let's go back to our main history section here. As you can see, there's just a point total here for each respective day. There's an edit button in the upper left hand corner if you would like to delete individual logs. And there's a new day button over here. Um, this button is only active when a new day has not been started, which I have not for today's date. So let's go ahead and hit that day and a new day will be automatically entered into the log and put at the top of the list. And as you can see up at the title here that's today's date which is July 4th. In this view here it will just say today so you have quicker access to that day not trying to figure out which one is your present days. But in this view it does give you the exact date. Let's look at the bottom of the screen here. Um, these are the three other tabs that iWatcher contains. Um, let's go over the bonus first so that way uh, I could show you how you add bonus points to the log. Like here we added them manually. Now I'll show you how to add them through the calculator. Okay, this is the bonus calculator here. It's a very simple calculator. You just have to enter your body weight in pounds. Uh, you can enter it in kilograms as well. Um, there's a simple uh, settings change to allow this. I will go over that in a minute. You enter the um, duration of the exercise and the type of exercise. Uh, heavy workout, light workout, moderate workout. So I'm going to go ahead and just put in some uh, quick numbers here.
Then I hit go on the keyboard to perform the calculation. So with a light exercise of 45 minutes with my weight, I earn two bonus points. You can then select the different types of exercise here to see how the points will get affected. If I had a, done a heavy workout, I would have earned seven bonus points. Well, let's just say I had the light exercise, so I earned two bonus points. To send that to the log, just hit this simple button up here in the upper left hand corner and you'll get a notification from my watcher saying that it's gonna send two points to today's log and subtract it from today's total so we'll go ahead and hit OK now if you were to go back to today's log you'll see the two bonus points has been added and then subtracted from the total okay let's return to the history log and let's take a look at the bottom of the screen here where there's other tabs Let's select the calculator tab. This is iWatcher's food point value calculator. By default, iWatcher's calculator is set up to work with the American version formula. But when I go over the settings in a few minutes, I will show you how to change between the American and European version formulas for this calculator. Um, it's a very simple calculator. You just have to type in the values into the fields and hit go on the keyboard. We have calories, total fat, and fiber. So I'm going to go ahead and enter some values in. And then you just hit go on the keyboard for iWatcher to perform the calculation. As you can see, this food item with 150 calories, 7 grams of fat, and 4 grams of fiber would be worth 3 points. The way that the built-in American version formula for this calculator works is that the most that you can enter in for fiber is 4 grams. It will technically allow you to enter a higher number into the field, but it will only calculate up to 4 grams. In the upper right hand corner here, we have a formula button that's not activated. This is when you want to enter in your own formula into the calculator and not use the built in one. Again, when I go over settings and show you how to change between the calculators, between American and, and European, I will also show you how this edit formula button works. In the upper left hand corner is an about page. This is just some quick details about iWatcher and it also contains a button in the right hand corner that will take you to the support site devoliapps.com. So let's exit out of that. Now let's take a look at the favorites tab at the bottom of the screen. The favorites tab is to allow you to do one click logging for all your today items. As of the making of this video, favorites can only be used to log foods for today. And when I say today, I mean the log that is actually marked your present day. I am working on a feature that will enable you to add favorites to any day. But as of right now, it's just for today. To add a new favorite, just tap the plus button in the upper right hand corner. Type in the name of the food that you want to add to your favorites. And its score value. And hit save and the favorite will automatically be ready for logging. To log this particular item, just hit this log it button next to the name. It will present you with an option of which meal you would like to send this food to. Once you select the meal, the food has been logged. If you would like, you could go back to today's log to double check that it has been added. And here we have in dinner, chicken, seven points. So the food item has been added. Once you've developed quite a list of favorites, You'll notice the tab here on the right side of the screen. This is an index tab that allows you to scroll immediately to a particular letter. Once scrolling to this letter, it will list all the food items that you have that start with that letter. As you can see right now, the list is not so big, so I can't really show you the full effects of this. But once you have a big list of favorites, you'll see how this can be very handy. So there way you don't have to scroll all the way down to your, to your items. You could just get right to them. Editing favorites works the same way as editing regular food items in your log. Just hit the edit button. You can delete single favorites if you'd like to. If you want to edit the favorite, just select on the favorite. And just like the food items, make your changes and hit save. Once you're done editing, hit the done button and you're back at your screen so that you can log them.